state your first and last name, and then your nickname. Adrian Beatty, and my nickname is Adi. Cool. So first, can you describe the house for me? It was one main level with a basement, and on the main floor there was a family room, a bathroom, kitchen. And it was pretty unique because when you first walked into the house, there was this circle in the first wall. And there was skateboards all over the place hanging up on the walls like paintings would be in someone else's home. And, um, and then you go all the way back and past the kitchen is this small little space where John would play with these toy car things and <laughs> paint them and stuff and that was pretty funny to walk through and see and then make my way back to the backyard which was beautiful and had so many different plants and trees and grass and stuff going on and a nice little table to hang out on so it was a pretty sweet setup cool so <clears throat> Can you tell me what you're in Sydney's relationship is like? Active. <laughs> <laughs> um, we first met in August last year for our teacher training. And we met because we were the for only girls coming from the north end. Our training was down in the south um, end of Seattle. And so we got together and carpooled and just kind of linked up and kept finding thing after thing that we had in common um, and spent a lot of time together, wanted to help each other through training, uh, and we've just kind of done that with our friendship ever since. Stayed active, had something to do, places to go, people to see, um, stretching to be had, so it was, it's good. It's a fun friendship. Okay. What was your favorite memory in regards to Sydney and John's relationship? that you saw in the house? Mm. That's funny. Um, <laughs> well, I guess this one's kind of connected to um, an older house that they had too and came with them, and it's the Bugget Syndrome. Um, Sydney leaves these piles <laughs> around, <laughs> and they're, they're piles of organized messes, um, of bags with <laughs> something for this activity or something for this day or something for this event. Um, and they might be in all different places of the house. And he calls them buggets, Sydney's buggets. Um, little buggets around the house. And so that's kind of a fond memory that's kind of moving, I guess. <laughs> okay. What is the mo most poignant memory that you have from the old house that's regarding you as Sydney's relationship is in that house? Mm. Well, I guess one of the more poignant memories would be putting together our little snacks. Um, we had, we, that was one of the things we had in common when we first met at our teacher training was that we both would eat lunch meats and cheese and sliced fruits and whatever and granola and then of course a piece of chocolate to make it complete or some treat sugary thing so um that was always fun assembling things and putting them in you know tupperwares and whatnot is there anything else that you would like to share with the interview about the house or the relationship or your experience with that house or that area or anything that relates to the interview um, I guess on, on, like, I, I guess, I don't know what you would call it, <laughs> personal or, like, off-topic subject, I don't know even what to say, but I guess the layout of the two houses is something that I keep thinking about and remembering Sydney saying, how nice the old one felt for her um, just when I first met her how and how when she first walked me in it was something that flowed it was something she could walk through and it was nice she knew where things were her buckets were all in the line um, and then coming into the new house even though there was that hole that you can see through and it gives that feeling it also is kind of like this drop <laughs> 
Um, cause the rest of the house is like zigzag and blind sides and turning corners that you don't know what's happening. Um, so it'd be interesting to think about maybe how that might impact each of them individually or the relationship, I guess. Cool. Thank you very much. Yeah.